Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now, and in this session, I'm gonna take you through Render. So, if you guys are not familiar about Render, Render is another hosting platform uh, which is free. Uh, for the starter plans no need to enter any credit card information so especially for the beginners uh, if they don't want to insert this kind of things and uh, with just few clicks uh, it's uh, you're good to go so after Heroku decided to like uh, eliminate the free tire uh, things then uh, this kind of platforms they got opportunity to uh, contribute the things and we are gonna explore render hosting uh, for the very first time uh, on this channel so without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so i'm gonna search for render hosting quickly and i'm gonna click this very first link over here and i'm gonna uh, sign up using uh, let's see what are the options we have so github gitlab google gitlab uh, support they are providing it's a good thing so i'm gonna go with the github thing and once you click here you don't need to do this uh, you just need to verify your email address once you once you are done with that that's it uh, you're good to go and uh, uh, for the first time you can explore the pricing uh, for the uh, there are few use cases if you have big projects if you are uh, if you want to decide uh, to deploy the bigger models uh, definitely they have the plans that you can explore for now I'll, I'll go with the this web services okay static files cdn things you can deploy uh redis postgres this kind of uh the chrome jobs you can choose to deploy as well so i'm go i'm gonna go with uh, this new web service and uh, here it will automatically link your github account directly over here so what you can do you can quickly create your new project uh just name it whatever it may be i'm gonna name it uh, node app like this and i'm gonna drag this folder on the top of my vs code command plus j quickly to open my terminal and we are gonna use simple hello world application using npm innate hyphen y uh, so or any other application that uh, you want to choose so uh, i'm gonna create a new file which is app.js where i'm gonna uh, install few uh, one plugin only uh, this is a package i need to install express and i'm gonna create quickly a uh, const express is equal to uh, require or what you can do you can click here on web services so on blueprints you can explore this thing as well okay on docs uh, you can see the there are boilerplates are available if i click here on express uh, uh, you can see this is hello world uh, is already there you can directly fork this thing if you want like i'm gonna fork this thing it would be great to fork directly and use this thing express hello world great so i'm gonna create this repository and uh, this is it we are good to go let me see if i'm missing something now so i'm gonna click here on web service once again and this express hello world i'm gonna deploy over here so i need to refresh once again so it will fetch the all the repositories once again okay so it's not in real time so sorry for that all right now you need to improve this kind of things once again okay so uh there are few honest reviews uh, lots of folks are saying that uh, render is a uh, little slow for the free plans but it's fine for the testing now so i'm gonna uh, go with this express hello world i'm gonna connect here and let's wait for uh, deployment so it's creating a ci cd uh, the continuous integration deployment in background so whatever uh, whenever you will push something uh, the changes will it will automatically deploy the things so you don't have to deploy each time okay it's uh, automatic so here i'm gonna say node app that's it so uh, this is my node you can choose different region like let me choose this one why i prefer to choose different region because a bunch of developers are working on this i'm assuming already so obviously it's slow so if you choose singapore definitely it would be faster okay so you can choose any by the way so this is it and i'm gonna choose this free plan definitely if you have uh, if you want uh, the better cpu performance definitely you can increase accordingly for now i'm gonna click here on create web service and one thing i forgot to tell you you can create uh, your environment variables okay like this uh, this is uh, like your terminal 
where you can see all the logs okay and uh, here you can see all the things like in in uh, environment you can add the environment variables if i can open this in a new tab let me show you quickly over here so <coughs> excuse me and here you can add your environment variables like secret or something and uh, if if i'll save this thing i'm assuming it will automatically redeploy the things i don't want that uh, so i'll go with the hard coded one because in app.js the default port i'm assuming is 3001 hopefully yeah 3001 so otherwise you can pass this port from there as well if you want guys so apart from that there is there are few other things like scaling uh, with just one click you can upgrade the plans if you think that this is not for me and you will get this uh, free subdomain name that uh, you can check uh, your uh, output over there so it's it's a good thing or yeah uh, you can see yarn is really very fast as compared to npm or uh, others okay so that's why we prefer to use yarn always and there is not much difference just it, it, it is fetching the same thing with a, another service uh, built by the facebook by the way if you don't aware about this thing and now it is creating the container inside that container it's gonna deploy and after that only uh, this link uh, will be uh available okay so for now let's wait for that it's taking time i'm not gonna pause this video so uh you will know uh how much time exactly it takes so what you can do you can forward this video if you want guys till then we are gonna click here on blueprints so if you wanna go with the blueprints i'm assuming this is uh yaml multiple things that you can uh, uh right here i'm not that sure about env groups let's let's create a env groups now hopefully group name and in that group name okay we can add directly file over here as well like if you have an environment file you can directly add here that's it okay and uh, if i go to the docs uh, inside docs you will see lots of things like python ruby elixir elixir uh, of erlang framework okay rust go gin gin is also really really cool uh, there are other bunch of things like Node.js, Next, Next, uh, Remix, Trappy, uh, Savelet Kit and lots of other things. So this is really very cool guys. If you want to explore this kind of stuff, definitely go there and feel free to uh, do anything. Okay. So let me go to the dashboard once again. It's taking time. Uh, I told you guys and I got the review already. It's little slow as okay. Uh, deployed. Great it's deployed now uh, let me try this link once again so hello from render so yeah this is it guys so we have successfully deployed the very first application on render and uh, i hope uh, this is uh, helpful for you guys and uh, thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side Definitely I'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button and you can use this thanks button as well in order to contribute a little more even one dollar is enough to grow a channel. Uh, so thank you so much. Have a good day and see you later.